Let's talk about our top story for a moment. An officer involved shooting at a group home for the mentally ill. Police say shots were fired after the distressed patient on officers. It happened early Sunday morning on Riverview Court. One of the residents inside having a mental health crisis. The person was actually threatening other residents with a knife. That's when officers arrived. They tried to calm the man down, but say he pulled out a knife and ran towards two of the officers. One fired at him. He gave commands for him to drop the knife, drop the knife. The uh, suspect changed directions, went back towards the other officer. The other officer discharged his firearm approximately three times. The suspect was later taken into surgery. His condition is unknown. Police say they are investigating the legal status as well of that group home. Police are looking into a stabbing that left one man in critical condition. They say a fender bender on Moss Drive may have led up to the incident. Witnesses say one of the two victims was actually driving down Hillcroft and was involved in an auto accident with a red pickup truck. That pickup with several men inside then started following the victim. The victim called his brother who showed up at his location and when the brother arrived, a fight broke out. At some point, one of the brothers was stabbed and hit in the head. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The other brother was also hurt, but not seriously injured. Police are still trying to locate the men in that original red pickup truck. An investigation underway this morning after police say the body of a man was found floating in the water under a bridge in Sugarland. A motorist found the man's body Saturday evening near Meadowcroft Boulevard and Westcott Avenue. Police have very little information, but they are looking into the possibility that the man may have jumped from the bridge intentionally.